Welcome back to our FNA, and today I'm going to talk about why I prefer using a tablet over a mouse. You think that this clip out of all of them should be sponsored by Wacom, but it's actually not. I'm gonna talk honestly about what I use and why and the pros and cons, but it came out of a question on Twitter, what my thoughts are on mouse and keyboard versus tablets. So this is what this is about. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is JD and I do lectures like these. I talk about animation, there's animation analysis. I post my feedback clips. I do animation news, acting analysis, re-reviews, all kinds of things. So if this is something that you like, feel free to browse around and hit that subscribe button if you want to. So why? am I using tablets and pens and things as opposed to a mouse? I mean, I'm going to say mouse and keyboard. I do use a keyboard still to some degree. And just to spoil the whole thing, ergonomics. It really comes down to my fingers. So oh, if I grab this to standard mouse and whenever I grab a mouse, I just hold on to it tightly. It's just, I, I hold it, then I squeeze the fingers and it just kind of hurts because I want to move those little tiny little pixels. And after a while, it just hurts my fingers. And it's been like this for quite some time. And when I say quite some time, I really mean decades. So for me, it's kind of like, it's a combination of tech and health and ergonomics. So a long time ago, when I was still in Switzerland, which is over 20 years ago, so maybe 25 years ago, I already had a Wacom tablet back then. Mainly also because, at least in Switzerland, there was no other company that offered that kind of technology with a pen and a tablet. And also, I'm, I, I like tech. I mean, if you can... Look around in my in my office. I'll do one of these days a studio tour, like an office tour if you want. Like comment if you want to see what my office is like. So I want to ask for it, but I'm curious who else wants to see this. But it's like tech. I got tech everywhere. I mean, you can see I got tablets and I got a stream deck. So many things that are nerdy. And way back when the tablets came out, at least for me in Switzerland, I was just really interested in the technology. And this is cool because I like to draw. And like, oh, we can kind of need to use that. At the same time, I also used a marble mouse. Logitech has a marble mouse where it's ambidextrous. It's it's not left or right. I'm left-handed, so left-handed marble mice are kind of hard to find. Anything for left-handed people in terms of ergonomics is kind of tricky. So I, I like that one because it, I don't really have to move anything. It's basically just it rests and I just move my fingers. So it's mostly that that I move. And I have found that to be very good for my wrist and my fingers and just my general arm and, and just the way I work. I tried once an upside down like this, a mouse where you're like this with the joystick and where it's kind of positioned like this, but you move it around like that and it kind of, it just hurts my shoulder. It's just something where I feel like I started using my arm too much. It was kind of weird. But I know people use it and it's totally fine. And, and I'm not saying it's bad. It just didn't work for me. I also tried keyboards that are cut in half where it's kind of like this. Also not for me. I have my little small low print keyboard. So it's not, they're not high so that my wrists are not going up. So it's kind of flat. And as I sit, I have my 90 degree angle on my arm. So I try to have good posture. Then after a while, you know, you start leaning like this. But anyway, that's kind of like the setup very early on. The moment I got to the States and even at the academy in the labs, you got tablets as well. In the classrooms, you have tablets every now and then depending on the classes. But I got a tablet there as well. And if you zoom in, you can see it. it's, a, it's an old, old tablet that I'm using with a pen. And that's kind of, it has kind of stuck like that. I use a pen and a tablet at home and I use that marble mouse at work mainly because there's a lot of standing and raising of desks and the desk at work has a flat surface where the monitor is on but then it's a thing you can swivel for your keyboard and I always have my pen rolling off the table I know it sounds stupid but it was just not there was something weird about the angle with the tablet and the pen so I switched back to the marble mouse and so that's what I have marble mouse at work the tablet just on the desk but I don't use it that much and at home always pen and tablet and also just the way you hold it the way you can rest it it's just there's enough constant constant change in the wrist where at least for me it helps me not be stuck in a specific pose where I cramp up or it's just kind of tight and you're gonna like oh I gotta start stretching I mean you gotta do desk stretches anyway but there's something for me when I use a pen where I just move my finger flatten and just there's constant change that keeps it loose and not too tight and if I use a mouse it just it just doesn't work I tense up and just it starts hurting my fingers especially through here it's less the wrist it's more the fingers on, on tight gripping. Now, when it comes to the workflow, I mean, obviously I'm generally faster because I'm not getting injured. <laughs> I don't have to take as many breaks, but the mouse, I got to stop and do things and take a break. And with pens, I can, I can work a lot longer. So that kind of workflow thing helps me because I can work longer, more concentrated without force breaks because out of injuries or pain, which obviously should be a sign that you should stop and take a break. But when it comes to my specific setup in terms of which button that I use for what, actually this Friday is going to be an FNA that will be sponsored. But how can how I use the setup within Maya, the button configuration and more, that's going to be a workflow specific thing on Friday. So today is just generally why do I use 
this. Again, keyboard, I'm not super huge on different kind of keyboards. I haven't found that I need them. I can have, like I said, regular flat keyboards because of the elevation and ergonomics. And it's just, I do I have my standing desk. Not gonna do the whole thing. So I move that. For me, it's just a different kind of posture so that I, I move around and take a lot of breaks. And in that environment, that work environment, how I have my peripherals or whatever, that is just very, very practical. And I know for me, I mean, I've been doing this now for professionally almost 17 years. I mean, I mean like 20 years, you know, depending on how you count school into this. And I really don't have any finger pain or wrist pain. My pain comes in the back. So when I, when I sit wrong like in the back here, there's a certain area where it pinches and that's because of how, how I sit. We have Herman Miller chairs at work. Shout out to Herman Miller, sponsor, sponsor. And they're super comfy and they really work. I don't know why, what is. I had a couple chairs at home that didn't work so well. They're a lot cheaper. I don't know why. And I have found an okay chair that works. It's squeaky and it already starts to lose its tightness and form because I'm, I'm moving a lot again, sitting and, and just a lot of posture changes. But that's my main thing when I work, I get a specific back pinch problem because of hunching or just the way I am with my desk. So I after all those years, I have zero elbow problems, no shoulder problems, no wrist or finger problems because of this setup. Now, speaking of money, the big con about Wacom and all the tablets that I use here is money. Was they really expensive? I'm not gonna lie about this. They are not cheap. My kind of point to that is very subjective, but I've been using that company for over 20 years now and it just never breaks. That's the thing, like I can, I can do all kinds of things. I move this around, backpack. I used to do workshops in the city physically in a, in a conference room with a projector. Take that with me, goes into backpacks, throw this around and move. This is constantly being abused and used and just thrashed and it always works. And it always kind of reminds me of my grandfather used to say that he can't afford to buy cheap things. May sound weird, but I'm totally with him and I totally agree. Every time I feel like ah, that's overkill really, do I need to spend that much money when I buy something cheaper? It's just the manufacturing, it just breaks. After a while it breaks. And to me, I spend the money on things that I use on a daily basis. I mean, I use the tablets and the keyboards and the everything computer-wise is hours and hours and hours, day after day, at least Monday to Friday. For homework, it's Monday to Sunday on a daily basis, months and years. So this has to withstand the constant physical usage and however you know rough you are with the tools. That being said, again, they're not cheap. So if you're looking for alternatives, I would recommend the YouTube channel Sketch with Tio, and he does a ton of reviews, not just tablets, books, all kinds of things about sketching, but he looks at a lot of tablets and compares them and there might be something for you where you feel like these features are better, the prices are better, whatever it is. There's a lot of stuff out there, so link in the description with his channel. Make sure you check it out. There's a lot to choose from. So yeah, so when it comes to these, again, they're small, they're super light. I'm using this one a lot more now because it's also Bluetooth, no cables, which is great because one of the things which I mentioned in the previous review, I'm not a fan of cables that force you to go in a specific direction. It's like, why not just go either side? So again, I have things on different sides, different computers and just, that's kind of a pain. But as a tablet, these are great. And especially when you have extra buttons so you can do your hotkeys. So when I say uh, keyboard more or less, I do have a lot of hotkeys. I also use a stream deck with a ton of buttons and so much where I don't really have to think about my keyboard configuration. And that's about that. So the biggest spoiler is ergonomics. It's just in all those years, it has been the biggest help in terms of not getting injured for fingers and wrists and just the repetitive nature of working on your computer. Well, that's just me. I know people that have been at work for 20, 25 years and they use a mouse and they have zero problems. They might have other problems because of posture, the way they are and the way they have to I don't know where they're standing. Where they're, that people have very individual problems, really depending on how they are and how much they work and everything. But that is very much me, and this is why this is not a sponsored thing. There's nothing I need to show off. This is very subjective, my point of view of the tools that I use. You might hate them, you might love them. I'm actually curious what you think. Comment, let me know. I'm curious, what do you use tablets? If so, which ones? Do you, do you have any special keyboards you love it? Which ones? As I'm diving into Cintiq like the Wacom One and I'll be reviewing a Cintiq in the future, I love it. Now I'm diving more into, well, I wanna work and draw on the tablet and get more into that workflow. The thing that I'm gonna have to look at for that is do not be hunched over. If you have this, because I'm very used to working like this, but if you have a tablet you draw, I'm concerned about the hunching aspect and my posture. So I'll be looking at that, how I can work with this and maybe find some tweaks to make this better. Look out for some future reviews about that. 
That's a plane. We have an airport nearby. So watch out. Friday is going to be a custom workflow thing for tablets that dives more into my workflow, especially how to save time when you iterate on shots, a very specific topic on Friday. And speaking of time, if you feel like that was time well invested and spent on watching this and you want to use your time to work with me, I don't know. I'm grasping at things here. I do have workshops. Feel free to look in the description for all the links and you want to sign up. You can sign up at any time. My workshops are always open. And if you're intrigued by any of these clips and you looked around the channel, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss any of my uploads. I upload every day except weekends. Other than that, that's it for me. I will say thank you for your patience for watching till the very end and I will see you in my next clip.